Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be recreating the old aged damaged photograph look. So we see from these uh, visual examples here that this is the kind of effect we're trying to achieve. So our starting point is quite a clean, quite a fresh, quite a modern image and we're going to kind of work from here and move towards that aged look. So the first thing is to make it black and white, so adjustment layer here, uh, very simple. Next step is to use a photo filter and in this case I'm going to go for a sepia, so increasing the density until you get that nice kind of strong sepia look. So that's a nice start. Next step is to unlock this photograph layer, place a blank layer underneath and we're going to fill it. So we're going to fill it with uh, colour, so if you go to colour here and I'm going to choose a colour from our image so it creates that sepia kind of effect, clicking on OK there. So we've got that colour underneath. Now if we click on our image layer and go to edit and transform and scale, uh, shortcut on a PC is Control T. If we grab the corner there we can stretch it to fit but we want to hold shift so it constrains those proportions and alt so it comes from the centre. This is going to give us a, a border effect. So double clicking to commit there. Uh, it's, it's kind of got that kind of age look already, but you know, we, we want to go a step further than this, so we're going to use textures. So I've got a rust texture here, so I'm going to select all of that, copy and paste, and using the move arrow, I'm going to position it over the top. Uh, again, Control T to resize. I'm not too worried about the distortion here, the pixelation too much, because uh, it's going to be blended now. So blend mode and overlay, so it's fading into the background. You can change the opacity here if you want to make it less strong. I'm going to go one step further as well. I'm going to use another texture here. Um, this is a paper texture, so this is optional really, but it does add quite a nice effect. So selecting all, copy and paste, uh, popping it on top of the image, and resizing to fit. And again, you try your blend modes. You can experiment with different blend modes, but in this case, I'm going to go for overlay again. And I'm going to drop the opacity a little bit on this one so it's not quite as strong. So that adds quite a nice uh, texture to the image. Now, if we take a close look at uh, the corners, you'll find that they're actually still quite sharp. So we're going to go to um, use the smudge tool here. And the smudge tool, as long as we're on that image layer here, will allow us to, to pull in parts of those corners to, to uh, you know, soften them down so they don't look quite as modern, quite as strong. So smudge tool kind of pulling around those, those edges. The other thing we can use is the blur tool. And the blur tool will allow us to quite simply paint over those parts and blur it in. Um, so a nice little shortcut is if you click on your corner, hold space, moving down, and click again, but shift click. It will join those points together and it will blur in one long line. So let's try it again. So click, moving to the other position, holding shift, clicking, and it will join them together. So that's a nice technique for you to use. Um, we're going to use a brush to create some further damage to the picture. So again, working on the image layer, clicking layer mask, uh, checking that you have black in the foreground and, and white in the background, choosing your brush. So instead of using a normal brush, you want to actually have some kind of creative effect over this. So click on window and go to brush. Starting with um, brush tip shape, choose a brush which has a, a more kind of organic feel to it. Then go to Shape Dynamics, changing the size jitter so it will randomize as you're working. Same with Angle Jitter, you want it to change as you're painting, and Roundness. Then Scattering, so moving the scattering out a little bit, and then the Count Jitter as well. Then finally we're going to use Wet Edges to create that kind of stained look. So when you work on your picture here, uh, it will take parts away, so it's erasing bits. So you might see that on the layer mask there. Now if you want to uh, take if you want to you know, revert that, so if you switch to white, you'll be able to return your image back. Um, so you can kind of play around with that one. Um, so have a little go with that, see how it goes for you. Uh, one last step, this is quite nice to actually apply, is if we click on our image once more here, and use the burn tool, so burn here, you can darken certain parts of the picture, so you can kind of darken those edges a little bit, add that kind of burned effect. Okay, so you can kind of really, really see that coming through now. So there you go. It might take a few tries to get it right, uh, but it's all about experimentation and seeing where it can take you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and good luck.